so one of the concepts behind the house was really to say how can you live in a pavilion and how can you make the pavilion livable well there's been a long history of tropical architecture in miami for one i think it relates to its direct relationship to landscape and the fact that it's raised it's set within the jungle it's completely cross-ventilated it has large overhangs, it has porches on the front and the back. The architecture directly relates to the climate. You know, we often like to turn to vernacular principles for direction, you know, going all the way back to archetypes, all the way to, say, the tropical modern buildings of the 50s and 60s, because a lot of these buildings have embedded environmental considerations in them. One thing that we do is we do a fair amount of travel drawing, drawing other buildings and other cities. We mine out of these places this idea of the compositions. And we find these compositions in other artwork. We find these compositions in other pieces of furniture. And this idea of composition and balance all sort of comes back together. This notion of composition and color and materiality sort of fall together. And I think that's true with this house.